Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Thanks. It is me, D Skims here, with World of Thanks Epic Battle episode. And oh, what a treat battle I have for you today in D95, driven by Unbayet. This battle is just crazy, you have to see it to the end. Enough said, let's jump into action. Now, it has been ages since we featured T95 on this channel, um, or since we played with T95. Really the Tomb Turtle, good memories, my old time favorite tank. I enjoyed grinding with it, I enjoyed grinding my T110 E3 with it, uh, really. But you, you, you gotta be patient when you play with T95, because you can see 13 flat ground and this is top speed. 13. 12 kilometers per hour, so definitely save up some time if you play with T95. But CD map T95, if played correctly, you can get some really crazy scores because, um, well, just for the fact that you have epic frontal armor. If you if you look out where you're going, if you look out for your team, that your team can support you, and so on, then uh, this tank is golden. Now you're rolling in the middle of the map like a boss, like complete boss. You see, slowly but steadily you are go getting there. <laughs> that E32 doesn't see what is coming, and oh, what a mistake! Nice shot, nice first shot, and you didn't even aim. Well, actually, you don't have to aim. You don't have to stop and aim because you are just driving so slowly, anyways. IS3, replay back here, doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, I free shot into you. <laughs> oh god, get wrecked. Complete power, complete muscle. This guy tried to drag us, but no luck. Now, as you can already see, that we are not using top gun. We are using the 120mm AT gun. Faster reloading time and um, 400 average damage. Penetration is actually pretty nice. Uh, sorry. At uh, 248, so in tier 9 game it is going to be more than enough. Almost always. Uh, encounter mode, basic being capped. Uh, sadly, we have only one guy here defending, so mo hopefully we are going to be able to get here in time. T32, goodbye. T34, object 704. Okay, 704 died back here. Good. Let's destroy the house. Tiger 2 wants to get a piece of us, right? <laughs> Guys are just rolling in. Guys are just rolling in. Like, thank you. Thank you for doing that, by the way. We can keep him tracked. Thanks to our DBM. With uh, Top Gun, you're not going to be able to do that. Okay. They're all with so low HP. Pretty annoying actually. But luckily base is not being capped anymore. S or sadly, because soon we are going to be flanked. So we have to move fast, we have to destroy those two guys at least. Because D54 is running away as we can see. As expected. Oh boom, nice. One, two, kills. Done. Job well done. Now those guys failed tracking you, and again they failed tracking you. You repair it, go for a jack banter, okay you had to shoot a D75. Those guys failed tracking you while you were turning around, uh, huge mistake, <laughs> you just have to track D95. And that D75, huge mistake once again. Frontal armor is just beast. With tier 8 guns you have to be, or with tier 8 tanks you have to be lucky to be able to penetrate. Even even to lower blade you have to be lucky. E75 is using top gun. Sadly. Sadly he's using top gun, so he doesn't need to be that accurate with his shots. But luckily he's tracked, he can't shoot back at us. Now. If I would be the D75, I would have destroyed that wagon already, because you can't, you can't repair your tracks. You already saw that. 
just take the shot at uh, the wagon and maybe you're able to get some extra damage out of it. Now we have to hope that the J banter is not going to track us again, but he's oh worst case in this kind of situation. Ooh lucky, we were lucky. He was using HG, as I just heard. Come on, are we able to turn? <laughs> no, not yet. Not quite yet. Come on, we need some help over here. Something. Something has to kill that J Banter. Right now, all he's doing is spending credits, but he's holding us down right here. So, pretty much the best thing to do right now. And E75 destroyed him, but he's going down himself because enemy E75 is there. With full HP. But that our move by our E75 MVP. MVP. He pretty much saved us here. Now our IS-8 got killed over here. Just look at that graveyard. Jesus Christ. That graveyard. We have five kills so far. Three tanks left. Now. When on the enemy side here is full HP, 75, SDI and T54 uh, as well. And you have 50% of HP. Like, is it even possible to win? I mean, <laughs> it is so easy to outplay T95 when you have three enemy tanks. Or you, you know what I mean. If you have three ally tanks, then it is so easy to outplay enemy T95. But uh, yeah, so let's wait in here. Really good positioning, by the way. Gammonet is activated. Like, this is the only place right now where you can surprise one of those guys. Now, it actually sucks that we're not going to spot anything right now. Maybe they are making up some kind of epic plan. Are they in platoon as well? And luckily, no. Full HP 75 and STI. We are not being spotted yet. God damn, that STI is free shot to us as well. And we bounce. Come on. Now, if D54 shows up as well, then we are done. Then we are done, certainly. Like, we, we missed. D54. Oh god, we bounced. Nice. And what is that guy doing? Oh my god. That D54 just. <laughs> what a mistake. SDI coming in. Premium shots. Well, I can't blame you, really. I would go full premium myself as well. Sadly, you didn't aim that shot. You did hit the strongest part, basically, possible right now. And SDI face-hugging. Why? Guys, what are you doing? And the T-75 is sniping from the distance. Uh, seems like T-75 is not using Top Gun. Or actually, I can't tell you from here. But anyways, we E-75 didn't go for the tracks. Are we really able to do that, guys? What the hell is going on and the T-75 didn't move towards us? Like, this is first time I'm watching this replay as well, guys. But seriously, I... <laughs> I didn't expect to see anything like this. Just the uh, result screen seems to, seem to be pretty fascinating, so I wanted to check it out. And first impressions are always the best. Now... <laughs> now we can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to hit your your commander hat. But I mean, too late for that, buddy. Too late to wiggle wiggle now versus T95. When we have epic TPM as well. With our second gun. <laughs> really, we are going to be able to do that, guys. It is unbelievable. 
And then E75 switched to HE. Okay, this game is GG. Wow. Just wow. Okay, that was ja. That was some randomness over here, but well, one more shot should do it. Just. <laughs> okay, let's see what did you get for that epic battle, and this is what I call epic battle, guys. Like, yeah. 5,168 experience, doubled, 93,000 credits, master badge haste tanker, a lot of stickers, Radley Walters, school headed, steel wall, high caliber, and top gun. So your shoulder is going to be heavy after all those medals and rewards. 7,607 damage done, 8 kills, giving us 1,723 raw experience. Shots fired, 32, penetrations, 22, yes, we bounced some weird shots as well, actually. We only missed 4, but we bounced a lot of them. Or a lot of them didn't deal any damage. But um, 6200 damage blocked by armor. Yeah, if you don't know T95's weak spots, then um, nothing else to do. And that uh, T54 at the end, I still can't get it out from my mind. Like, what? What? And we made 2600 profit because we had to fire a lot of premium shots at the end. So, can't blame you. Nobody blames you, dude. Nobody blames you. But guys, I believe this is it for today's epic battle episode. It was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Thank you for the game, once again, unbayat or unbayat. And um, for you, I hope to see you in here next time as well. Same place, same time, maybe. We'll see, but uh, take care and bye.